Anna, welcome. On this channel, I love to play with makeup. I love to dress up, sometimes play with some wigs, basically decorate myself. And today I'm actually getting ready for um, a just little voice recital that I'm doing. And I am going to uh, severely overdress, which is kind of my, my thing. And so this is the dress that I'm wearing. So we're going to do an eye look. That matches that it's kind of like a mermaidy theme and i'm going to be using this i love frogs man i love frogs by sugar drizzle um which is like all shimmers in fact i think this is going to just be all shimmers today which it just works it works with with sequins anyways and then also this danessa myrick's lightwork volume three um and maybe, probably, yes, there's one that I want to dip into in this palette as well. So, um, Danessa Myricks is going to help me out. In fact, I feel like the outer box of the, um, oh, I guess it's right here, <laughs> of the Lightwork Volume 5, like, it's pretty good with the dress. All right, so I'm going to zoom in. And we'll get started. All right, so I guess first things first, I will use the Rare Beauty Brow Duo. I love this thing. I really, really like this. However, I have had this long enough, the brush is getting kind of like, it's a little sad. So um, I use a different brush, which is also just my favorite eye um, eyebrow brush anyway. I don't know. There is something about this brush that makes my eyebrows so much easier to do and make look nice. I'm pretty uncomfortable with doing my brows too much, like overdoing it. I want them to look pretty natural, so... That's what we're doing. I'm going to use some brow gel today. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow gel. It seems to be like it holds pretty well without just being like too much, if that makes sense. Um, sometimes the brow freeze is just like it's too much. Okay, hopefully that will just kind of keep them out of the area where I'm gonna have shadow because I don't have a lot of space there anyway. I mean, from this angle I do, but <laughs> looking straight on, I don't. So I just wanna keep them out of that area. Um, and then I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. Oop, that was a lot. That's okay. That's okay. It'll be fine. Oh man, my eyes are already watering. This does not bode well. <laughs> oh no, oh no. And this is squirting everywhere. What is happening? Okay. Panic. Yeah, my eyes are watering. Stop watering eyes. I'm not gonna put powder over that today. I usually set it with powder, but I'm using so many sort of creamy shadows today that I think I'm going to leave that be the way it is. I hope that doesn't turn out to be a mistake. Okay, so I think what I want to do is start out, I really, really like this shade in this palette right here, this Polaris. It's like a green to gold, so it's kind of like you get the yellow and the mint really super light green, which is what I want. So I'm going to start with that in my inner corner. And yeah, the, oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love this palette so much. Uh, next up, I'm going to move over to this palette for a little bit and just kind of go from this yellowy green into like blue into probably a more purpley outer. Yes. Yes. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go into Feeling Froggy next. Such a cute palette. I'm gonna use this Rougher 28, I think, for this whole thing. At least the bit that I'm doing right now. This gradient. All right, and then next going into Lily Pad, which is just a little bit deeper and has like a little bit more of like a blue flip to it. So next up, I'm going into Fly Swatter. It's a duochrome sort of green teal purple. All right, and then I'm trying to decide between two very similar shades and I th think I'm gonna go into this guy hop along I guess we're mostly using um this palette Ooh, well this one has some like blue and purple in it okay that's what I'm gonna do well okay first I'm gonna use this hop along in my outer corner is that true I think that's true. Yeah. Okay. I really like this palette. This is such a great palette. And I'm just putting that in the very, like, outer corner. I'm not bringing that as high as the other shades. All right. Because I think what I want to do is use this uh, shade, Co Crokey, up around here. So I'm going to use this brush to start with that same rougher 28 that I've been doing that gradient with. I have been kind of wiping it off in between just on a towel but not worrying too much about it because these shades all kind of blend into each other pretty well. That's kind of the point. It's a very good gradient. Wow this is so pretty. All right so we have the basic shape now. I want to add um, this shade from, it's called Protected, from Lightwork Volume 5 uh, for my brow bone. And I might just do like an entire line across the top there. Hopefully that looks good because if it doesn't, I'm kind of stuck with it. So actually, I take that back. I'm going to put this, so I'm going to put this protected shade from Lightwork Volume 5, um, like in this area, on like the inner portion of, um, I guess this isn't really my brow bone, but like up to my brow bone, like going towards it, kind of blending this in. All right, and then... I want to use from uh, Man I Love Frogs. Ooh, there are two shades I'm trying to decide begin, uh, between. Uh, Leap and Ribbit. Oh yeah, Ribbit is going to look better, I think. And it just seems like almost like a darker or like more pigmented version of that last shade I used. Anyway, I'm gonna use that on my brow bone here. I feel like that shade croaky is just kind of not giving me enough definition out here. But I'm not sure what to use instead. Maybe, maybe I'll try a little bit of this leap and see if that just helps a little. I think it might be a little too shiny, but we'll see. I don't think that helped, but I'm gonna do it on the other side just to even things out. All right, so I think I'm ready for primer. I'll finish up my eyes once I get the rest of my face done, but that's basically the look, and I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna work just fine. I gotta do it at this angle so it doesn't get in my hair. <laughs> and this is this Wet n Wild Care Bear Primer. <laughs> that I got in this Care Bear um, set a while back. I did a video on it. It was probably two years ago now. Anyway, um, out of everything in that, 
um, this was the thing that I like and use. And I think it's similar, I'll link it below, I think it's similar to this like brightening primer, but I don't know for sure. I've never tried the other one, it just looked the most similar to me of a product. And like, I think this was just limited edition packaging, but I don't know. I don't know if they actually have this exact same product, but I love it so much that I use it. I try to use things most of the time um, on this channel where there is a link, you know, to purchase just in case people are interested, but some things I just really like them and so I want to use them. And this is one of those things. Um, I'm just going to use concealer for my complexion. This is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Nougatine. And I'm just gonna kinda cover a little bit of darkness. These eye bags, I'll tell you what, they're coming in strong. All right, and since I'll be I mean, on stage, I think this is a very small thing. Again, I'm going way over the top for this, uh, which is just kind of my style. So I am gonna contour just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna need a little powder over all of the cream products I just used. I'm going to use this Pat McGrath under eye powder in the shade Light. I have a pan. I hit pan. This is so exciting. I've been hitting so many pans lately and I'm just gonna go over those products that I just set down um, so that I can put some blush over that, some powder products, and that they'll, you know, sit nicely and to set what I just did as well. And I'm trying to do kind of a light dusting of everything. I don't want to go too overboard with the powder. I just don't think it looks very good on me anymore. Uh, now that I've gotten a little older, my skin is a little more mature. So I'm gonna use this Bridgerton um, blush palette that has the shades Cherish and Nymphette. I'm only gonna use the blushes in here. But I'm gonna take Cherish, the, the deeper one. And I'm going to place that a little bit further back on my cheeks here. I'm using a light hand. I am pretty fair and blush can get a little bit, it can be, get to be a bit much. All right. And then Nymphette, I'm going to put um, closer to the front. And it is very shiny, so it does emphasize texture a little bit, but since I'm going with a sort of mermaid theme, I'm like, eh, I can live with it today. I just feel like the colors are really nice for the look that I want today. And I'm actually debating, like, I might not need highlight. It's pretty shiny. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go without that and leave it as is. Um, now to go back to the eyes. I want to tight line. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Extreme Black Pencil Liner or Gel, Gel Liner? Pencil, it's a pencil. And I'm just gonna tight line this black. Oh, I need to sharpen that. Eesh. Basically just trying to fill in my lash line. Okay, and then Adding um, a little bit more of the Polaris in my inner corner. Oh, I thought I got that on my nose. I did not. I did not. All right. Um, so lower lash line, I'm going to use this um, shimmery pink shade called, I think it's Calabasas. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what I'm using to uh, brighten up 
and add a little color to my waterline. All right, and I'm gonna do some liquid liner, which I really can't do. Um, I can't, I can't film. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, well that did not go great. Um, I should have known better. I did a wing earlier today and it went so well that I was like feeling confident and sassy. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. It only happens once per like decade for me. So this is what we got. Cool, cool. And my eyes are watering a lot, which is not fun. And it's right here. This is where they water. Okay, mascara, which I will also do off offline because it's just too hard <laughs> i'll get it everywhere and poke my eye okay i'll be right back okay my lighting's getting weird also i'm kind of panicking so i forgot to tell you i was putting lipstick on um i'm using venusian whoa venusian peach and this is daphne i need a rose daphne in natasha denona and then i thought i'd try to go for like an iridescent look i don't know how iridescent iridescent this actually kind of looks on but and i am just going to put it on over my lipstick and then wipe off the um, applicator after because i don't like getting lipstick in my lip glosses why would i do that and this is a fenty holiday release she always has the best holiday releases with these lip glosses Well, I think that kind of looks iridescent. I like it. All right, I think my makeup is done. Um, let's try to do this for hair. All right, that was probably a terrible transition, but here's the hair. I have it in a knot. <laughs> anyway, this is the look, um, the dress. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this very well and you won't see my shoes, but it's pretty epic, pretty great. When you move around, it like makes different colors. All right. Well, wish me luck and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side alive.